Uh, we're wrapping up the Sunday here at the Australian Athletics Championships. I've managed to grab the brand new Australian 200 metre champion, Ella Nelson. Um, how good's that? Not brand new, I had it last year too. So I'm defending, I've got two now, I couldn't be happier. Um, let's go all the way back to last year. Yep. If I'd asked, spoken to you in December last year and asked you what, what the ideal result for this season would have been, what would you have said back then? Oh, I have high hopes. So I really wanted to crack um, 23 seconds, so run 22. Um, that's always been the goal for me. I had a bit of an injury scare at the bit, like around December, so that sent me back a few steps, but couldn't be happier with how I've come on from that and hopefully keep continuing on in the future. Did a couple of the track classics, yeah. uh, Canberra and Sydney. Yeah. Um, how'd you get down in Canberra? That was your, your first sort of major race of yeah, the year, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah, it was my first 200, actually. Um, I ran against Sally. She ran 22.98. Um, and I ran 23.33, which at the time was my second quickest time ever. So I was really happy with how I was starting the season, even though I did get second. So, yeah, I was really happy with that. And then uh, up to Sydney, of course, for the yeah. Sydney Track Classic. Yeah, I had a little bit more confidence going into that one, and I managed to run a PB of 23.24 and beat Sally Mel, which is always an awesome thing to do, just get a little bit more respect from the older athletes and that kind of thing, yeah. yeah. Um, and obviously coming up here, were, were you confident... Um, prior to the heats that you're, you're going to be able to defend the, the title? Yeah, yeah. I had a good feeling coming up here that I was going to give it a really good crack and try and defend it as best as I could. Um, coming into the heats, I tried to take it a little bit easier, just do what I had to so that I could ha give it everything in the final and it proved to work well. So. Kept a bit in the bank, yeah. yeah talk us through the final, probably a bit of a blur, but if you can talk oh, us through your race of. a little. Um, so I started pretty well, I think for me, I'm not the best starter, and I was just trying to hold on to toe a whistle on the outside, and I could feel Monica and Ashley and Mel all on my inside, so I was just like, just stay with them, you're fine, and as soon as it opened up into the straight, I just tried to really lift and get there, and I managed to, so I'm so happy. And then obviously the time um, yeah. up on the on the scoreboard. Oh, that was cool. 23.04 official, yeah. um, miles under the, the, the qualifier. Yeah, well, it first came up as 16, I think. So that was still under the qualifier. So I was stoked. And then it rounded down even further. And I was like, this is unreal. I couldn't believe it. That clock's been very kind to some I know, of our it athletes this week. It's, it's great. It's like giving you like a good sign and then an even better one after. It's like getting two pieces of cake. Um, tell us where to from here. You may not really know yet, but obviously everything's going to be geared around Beijing. Yeah. Uh, obviously oh, yeah. have a chat to your coach uh, yeah so start with maybe a few races in Asia try to get to the Bahamas board relays again and then just really build coming into Beijing so. I was just chatting to Michelle just before I let you go oh, the, the yeah. Sydney Uni um, what, what a week uh, it's been Josh Clark in the 100 metres uh, Annalise Ruby in the four and, and Shelley second in, in a world champs qualifier now yourself um, I know you're all a tight gang over there really that, that must be awesome to be doing it with, the, with your mates um, so I kind of broke through out of a bit of a bad spell um, as I started competing for Sydney Uni and the support that we give one another and just like like on track and off track is unreal and I think it really helps you to get where you need to go having people back you and believe in you and succeed at the same rate that you are it's so good. Ella Nelson congratulations Yay, a two-time Australian champion uh, and Ella will be joining the, the plane off to Beijing in August this year.